Scorpio, how you doing my lovely Scorpio? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the uh, 28th through to the 5th of September. I'm supposed to be on holiday, so this is going to be a whistle stop reading for you. So strap in and uh, be prepared, okay? Uh, let's just get straight here and see what's going on with your overall energy. You've got a high priestess here, yeah? Okay, so this is where you start using your intuition. This is when you're going to really start moving into what is the last three months before your birthday. It's the autumn period here. And I think it's a very reflective week for you more than anything else. Working out what's worked for you, what hasn't worked for you, uh, seeing what you like, what you don't like, and etc. I think this is where it's going to bring you a lot of, of um, uh, clarification about your future. On your relationship side, and your karmic message here is engage with your heart. I don't think you've got anything to lose in your relationships by the looks of things. Uh, you've um, decided this already in the past. Uh, I think it's already within you. And now it's just engaging in those relationships that you wish to engage in fully with your heart, basically. Let your heart decide, basically. Um, yes, the universe, the universe seems to be bringing a lot of this. It's come up already for the majority of signs and in this position, either on this side or on this side. But the universe is bringing you healing. And I think it's when you engage with your heart, when you allow your heart to choose um, and you follow your intuition, this is where healing will come into play. And the universe will bring this to you. How's it brought the past to the future? How's it connecting the two? Justice. Yeah, I think you've done a lot of work. I think you're getting your just desserts. And I think this is what you, you've got this clarity now within you. This justice has come to the fourth. And you know what the score is, basically. And this is allowing your heart to go free uh, and engage with your heart freely in your relationships that are around you. In your, um, in your conversation that is within yourself, you have these doubts, and I know you have these doubts. You know, Scorpios can have these doubts within the world around them. Um, and sometimes that can shut you off from everybody that is around you. And I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. Everybody's had this card, by the way. So it could be something in the outside, in the environment that is around us that make us a little bit sort of stressed or sort of caught up in sort of repetitive situations. But I think that's coming to an end. And if you worry about it, um, I think this is, you know, you, you, it's going to be harder for you. So do not worry about it. I would engage with your heart and just allow these sort of situations here that stress you just to flow away. This is it. Keep you, you know, uh, engage with your heart in the world that is around you. Follow that sort of star there. Follow your dreams and your aspirations according to uh, your relationships. And once you start doing that, you're going to realize a lot of things are just going to be left to the waist, left to the side, and just wander off and head towards the direction which is good for you. We'll do a clarification, obviously, on that Nine of Swords, but I think it's what it's all about. Let's just see what's going on in your relationship side. On the karmic message, you get the Queen of Wands concentrating on the here and now. I think that's really important. I don't think it's a case of don't get pulled off into extremes within your karmic path in regards to your job, your business and your project. Concentrate on the, small, on the smaller details, things that happen one by one. Uh, so concentrate on the things as they go forward one by one. Uh, let's see how the universe is bringing you here. The Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this has also come up for everybody. So we've had the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, which seems to be coming up for everybody. The, um, the universe here is sort of saying, if you concentrate on the little things, you'll realize that you've actually got huge amounts of abundance for you. You have a lot of things playing in your favor. Um, so if you allow them to play in your favor, then you can then feel this utter strength that's going to flow through you. And use your intuition. Yes, it comes from a very happy place. This is where you've come from i think you've realized within your job within your business and your projects that you actually feel very comfortable in who you are and what you do um, and once you realize that and if even if you haven't got a job at the moment if you've realized this comfortable about what you want to do is in the way of a job and a business and a project all of a sudden you can then really start pushing the boundaries yeah and taking a real direction with the king of swords this is out of judgment and I think you've been, you've judged this situation uh, in order to get this um, sort of uh, direction going. And you're following it and it's very much straight ahead of you, uh, straight in front of you. Hello, Mr. Wasp. 
you know, uh, straight in front of you. Whatever it is, it's heading towards it and it's coming in really quickly. Look at that, on the financial side, this, you know, on your jobs and your business and everything like that, it's absolutely amazing. You know, you've got some real good results coming in and I do think it comes out of your happiness and what have you. And I think it comes from you and I think it comes from your judgment as well, the abundance that you have. You're really strong here financially or, you know, within your career path or your business or your projects. Uh, really tying in really strong. Let's just see what's going in. We got the four swords again. The high priestess here. Don't allow your intuition to tie you in knots, basically. Be very wary of that mental intuition. I would trust a lot more your heart and your passions, basically, going forward. Um, and I think that's what's going to bring you sort of solace and um, healing. With the Ace of Cups, you get the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's securing your pathway in regards to your relationships, through your passions and your heart. This is what I'm saying. Um, the moment you engage with your heart, this is when you're going to become, you know, you're going to make it very, very social around you. With the four of um, swords, walking away, I think you're walking away from that. I think you're walking away from that nine of swords. I think you're walking away from repetitive situations and nightmare situations that are around you. And I think it's almost like um, that's what you've decided to do this week. Uh, and with your justice, you get the king of wands, yes. I think in the past, I think you've realized that you do have reason. I think you do have justice uh, within you. Uh, and with this justice, you're going to start applying it, which is going to stop this nine of nine of uh, swords. Yeah, it's going to get you totally in alignment with who you are and what you should be doing, basically. Uh, and I think this is like the end of any woes and worries for you in regards to your relationships. And you need to just apply it within your life, basically. Uh, with the judgment cards, you get the high priestess again. And I think this ties in beautifully. The high priestess and the hermit card are real um, connection cards. The, high, the hermit knows because it's already done all the work. It knows about its shadow side as well as its sunny side. And using that in order to follow your dreams and aspirations uh, in regards to your relationships will be a very good idea. Let's just see what's going on with the queen of wands. You get the ace of pentacles, yes. This is look, bodes really well for your financial side. Uh, a new beginning, a real season of luck for you as it comes through. Uh, how is the universe sort of doing it with the king? With the ten of pentacles, the abundance of assurance of the your strengths. The moment you do that, the you know the universe is going to bring forth that sort of calming energy, that sort of knowing energy, that uh, plain sailing energy, once you realize the strengths that you have within you. I think the happiness um, comes out of disappointment, maybe. I think some of the happiness, I think, I think maybe, I, th I think there's certain aspects of your job and your business and your projects or whatever you've been doing in the past, I think as you were really happy about it, and there's almost a taint of disappointment because it didn't flow exactly to what you were anticipating. Um, and, and I think that sort of tainted your sunshine more than anything. Uh, your taint, tainted your happiness. Uh, with the King of Swords, you get this justice. What was I saying? You know, you've decided this, you've, you've made this call. And I think this comes out of that disappointment. You've made this call to sort of say, look, if I'm going to do this financially within my life, this is what I need to do. And I need to go ahead and do it. With the chariot cards, you get the Hierophant. Knowing uh, it's coming in quickly and using your resources, using what you know in order to get your dreams and your aspirations. That's what you should be, your ambitions in life. Knowing how you work, knowing what makes you tick, knowing what makes you, knowing what allows you to get to where you should be going, basically. Okay, there you go, Scorpio. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, you know, don't forget your monthly readings as well. Uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, in the meantime, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.